Next gentleman we know, Tom Janicki. We know him best as our marketing columnist at LP Gas Magazine. But as I'm sure many of you know, he does much more for our industry. With deep roots in the retail propane business and his long-standing consulting firm, Atomic Creative Solutions, Tom lends his insight, expertise, and leadership in areas that challenges the industry to be better and do more for its customers, from expanding markets and burner tips to digital marketing and renewable propane. Pat Hyland, a good friend of ours and Tom's, recognizes Tom as a guy who really knows us as an industry and who understands the value of engaging with the end user. Tonight, we recognize Tom for his 55 years of meaningful service to the propane industry. The son of a tool and die maker in the auto industry, Tom Jenicky grew up on a farm in Michigan. After high school, he followed his father into the skilled trades and pursued a tinsmith apprenticeship through General Motors. During his off hours, he worked at a propane operation in Bay City, Michigan. After four years of apprenticeship, Janicki achieved the status of journeyman tinsmith. But the propane business captured his heart. He left the tinsmith trade to continue his career at Fuel Gas, a propane marketer with 20 locations across Michigan. He wore many hats out in the field and, after several years, was promoted to manager of the company's Houghton Lake location. When Marathon Oil acquired Fuel Gas, Janicki became the company's first area manager, covering most of northern Michigan. He eventually moved south to the corporate office in Flint. At that time, Janicki assumed responsibility for Fuel Gas's appliance division and, with colleagues, established a successful distribution company called NRG Distributors. That business later became part of Ray Murray Incorporated. Ownership continued to change hands over the years and Janicki eventually found himself working for Feral Gas. By the time Janicki left Feral Gas as Vice President of Sales and Marketing in 2005, he had spent more than 35 years learning every facet of the retail propane business. But his propane education was far from over. He started his own consulting company, Atomic Creative Solutions, to stay in touch with the needs of propane consumers. He helped his first client, the Propane Education and Research Council, find inroads into the residential market by making connections with the builder community. He became curious about digital business practices and, in 2015, joined Warm Thoughts Communications as Vice President of Propane Marketing Services. In that role, he educated the industry about websites, social media, and other digital marketing tools. Today, he works with Warm Thoughts in an advisory position and provides mergers and acquisition services through Blue Peak Resources. He's also the executive director of the Renewable Propane Alliance, a nonprofit dedicated to establishing a market for renewable propane. Heavily involved as an industry volunteer, Janicki served a term on the Perk Council and is on the board of directors of the Michigan and National Propane Gas Associations. He also shares his gift for productive dialogue in a marketing column for LP Gas. When asked about his greatest accomplishments, Janicki is quick to credit others. But the many who have benefited from his unwavering commitment to the industry know it's precisely this collaborative spirit that has earned him a place in the LP Gas Hall of Fame. So ladies and gentlemen, Tom Janicki. Good evening. I'm here tonight to announce my candidacy for president. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the wrong speech. That's for another event. Uh, thank you. Uh, as Steve mentioned, uh, Tilly Winks, no. Uh, it's a humbling experience uh, to have this happen. Um, I tell people that they reach down into the minor leagues to pick me up. And so that tells you that you need to keep your batting average up. 
Uh, thank you to Brian Canaba, Brian Richardson, and my real boss at LP Gas Magazine, Alan Kriz. Uh, <laughs> and congratulations to the uh, current inductees, uh, Billy and Steve and, and the family of the late Don Schultz, and uh, all of the past inductees. I'm really honored and humbled to be a part of uh, uh, this group of impressive leaders. Um, I, uh, I had a, a not an easy childhood. My, uh, my mother and father raised me in a home with oil heat <laughs> and an electric water heater. And the little bit that we grilled outside was on charcoal. And to put more stress in my life, my father was a Democrat. <laughs> but uh, my life has always been full of energy, and I've overcome all that. And I live in an all-propane home now with a standby generator on propane, and life is good. Um, propane has always been a part of my, uh, my work partner, so to speak, for better or for worse. Um, my, my spouse, Kim Kolb, is my partner in life and uh, is much more valued, valuable to me than uh, my work partner. I'm also happy tonight to have my daughter, Tammy Ream, and her husband, Chris, here tonight from Florida. And I have a brother and a sister, a uh, sister in Michigan, a brother in Florida who couldn't make it uh, tonight. Uh, they're uh, much older than me, and I remind them often of that, but uh, we thought we'd save them the stress of travel. Um, I, uh, I, I pondered all the people in my career as I was writing a few notes here tonight, and the men and the women, and, and I'll start with the women that provided energy in my work life. Otili Janicki. Otili is a name, a German name that you don't hear very often. In fact, I've never heard it from anyone besides my grandmother. I didn't know my grandmother very well. Uh, she passed away when I was very young. But uh, she was in the energy business. From 1927 through the 1930s, she was representing landowners and selling oil leases to oil companies and without the benefit of a real estate license, which was required at the time. After several successive, uh, successful years, uh, Pure Oil uh, took her to court and uh, stopped that part of her business because she was just too successful at it. And Grandma Otilly was the, uh, the first appearance of energy in my DNA. Uh, Sharon Brooks. Became Sharon Hacker in marriage to Randy. She worked alongside of me for 17, 18 years at fuel gas and on to thermal gas and, and uh, on to other places. She started as a pool secretary. That's something you don't, I, I don't think those are positions anymore. Uh, but uh, back then she was working for five of us in a corporate office and uh, I was always being told that I consumed too much of her time in my part of the world and whatever, but uh, Sharon was invaluable. She, in later years, became director of HR for a major portion of the company at the time and could have gone on even further, uh, but time ran out for Sharon and, and uh, I just remember her fondly. Uh, Kim Godlewski. Uh, she started as a college intern when I was in the corporate office at Fuel Gas. She advanced quickly to running NRG distributors that was talked about earlier and went on from NRG to run industrial propane service as a third generation family member uh, and Kim is very successful and is just a delight to work with. Uh, Jamie Maudlin. Uh, Jamie was hired as the first female manager at Ferrogas, area manager. Major portion of the, 
of the tough territory in the Midwest. And Jamie was not a token check the box hire. Um, went through extensive interview process, myself and others, and she stood head and shoulders above the other potential hirees. Jamie, to my knowledge, left Feral Gas for a short period of time to uh, start a family and is still working at Feral Gas today. Uh, Paula Wilson. Uh, Paula alternated as marketing mentor and mentee with me over the years. Paula has an extraordinary business mind. Nancy Coop. Uh, Nancy Coop uh, has been leading the industry in many areas, including bringing long overdue attention to the women in propane. And there's a whole pack of uh, other women leaders with their roots in PERC, including Leslie Garland, Kate Kaskin, Tracy Burleson, Bridget Kidd, uh, just, just outstanding people. And there, there are other women across the energy market, um, including Joy Alafia, Leslie Anderson, uh, Jennifer Jackson, I think, is here tonight, uh, Rita Pecalunas, uh, Susan Janet. Um, in fact, I'm going to let Nancy Coop know that I feel there is a need, perhaps, for a men in propane uh, group if we're going to survive in the uh, propane industry. Not to be ignored, there is an incredible and sometimes unusual male leadership, unusual in a good way, an effective way, in the propane industry. And I've been privileged to work uh, with many of them over the years. I, I've worked with or admired from a distance and learned from more than half of the inductees in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and there are more that haven't been inducted yet. It's just a matter of time. Um, Tom Lambert, um, Chris Kinsvater, uh, Richard Goldberg, Ben Gutkin, um, and many others. And a special shout out to Bob Myers. And uh, Bob uh, was also uh, instrumental in nominating me for this position. Um, I, I just keep your batting average up and, and someday you'll be recognized. There's not enough time for all of the others, so I'll, I'll choose uh, to close by saying that if the Hall of Fame was sports related, I'd have to pick a team to enter the Hall of Fame under. I could pick fuel gas, I could pick thermal gas, feral gas, warm thoughts communications. But most of my friends, whether they're in, especially those that are outside the propane industry, uh, they just refer to me as the, uh, the propane guy. And I'm good with that. Thanks and God bless. <laughs>